Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Andrews Island. Today is Saturday of the second week of Advent, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 17, verses 9 through 13. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our prayer of petition rise before you, we pray, O Lord, that with purity unblemished, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As they were coming down from the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He said in reply, Elijah will indeed come and restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come. And they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they pleased. So also will the Son of Man suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them of John the Baptist. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading, uh, according to St. Matthew, Jesus makes mention of the prophet Elijah. The passage follows immediately after the Transfiguration when the three of Jesus' disciples, Peter, James, and John, were given a glimpse of Jesus as the glorious Son of His Heavenly Father. During that experience, they saw Moses representing the law, and they saw Elijah representing the prophetic tradition, speaking with Jesus, and thereby clearly endorsing the mission of Jesus as Messiah, including what he had told them about his suffering, dying, and rising again, a prophecy which had upset them very much. On the way down from the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, Why do the scribes say that Elijah has to come first? To which Jesus replies, I tell you, that Elijah has come already. They did not recognize him, but treated him as they pleased. Jesus does not really answer the question, but confirms that Elijah will come again. In fact, says Jesus, He has already come, but he was not recognized, and he was mistreated, just as Jesus himself will not be recognized and be rejected. The disciples immediately realized that Jesus was speaking of John the Baptist. The role of the returned Elijah was to pave the way for the coming of the Messiah, and that is exactly what John the Baptist did. Once again, let us see ourselves in the role of John the Baptist, sharing with him the responsibility of preparing the way for Jesus to come into people's lives. And like John and his disciples, we too can expect to have face-to-face challenges, opposition, and maybe even perhaps hardships by acting as Jesus' disciples, by bringing Jesus into the forefront of our lives. Remember what Jesus taught us. The disciple is not above the master. So if the master suffered and died for all of us, what makes us think that our calling is anything less? Jesus said we should die to self something for us to ponder this late in the Christmas season. 
After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just the small word that comes to you. And ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him. Let us complete our divine reading now with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in always. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Then also pass on the links listed below to your friends and relatives as well. God bless and have a great day.